Why do I do that face every time? All right, guys. So I want to share with you guys my favorite fall lip. Now this is a look similar to my video, my fall look. Um, this is Mac Photo. It will always be there, so uh, you don't have to worry about it being gone. I love it. I've had it for quite some time now. Um, it's like a chestnutty, <laughs> a chestnut brown um, in between a nude and wanting actual more pigmentation on your lips. So I, I think it'd be great on any skin tone. I do recommend that you try it, which is why um, I included and want to jump off my video with photo. Now, I <laughs> this next lipstick that we're gonna try out is from Urban Decay 1993. This was part of their matte collection. I love this color. There is some similarities to this and photo. However, this is a little bit more of a natural grungy brown. Do you want to know how I fucked that up? It's not a pretty point anymore. I been drinking with it and the heat from my titties because I usually put it in here melted it so tipsy mirari I mean you can mold I've molded it back I guess it needs some more molding but um it's a more moussey brown a little bit towards the 90s browns that were really popular it's a little lighter um i really like the formula and the consistency of the brand i really like the matte i really like the matteness and the creamy consistency as, as well with this product for um the line of matte lipsticks that they brought out so far um it's so moussey and i feel like oh I feel like even though it's really moussey, hi hair, even though it's really moussey, um, it doesn't bleed. And it's not gonna bleed, it does have some long wear to it. So if you're looking for a brown lip but not like a gothica, too far out there, 1993 is your gig. Oh, it's still running, fuck. Okay, so Dominatrix, I was obsessed with this color when it first, first came out. I was like on it when they had the sale for, I think it was this Androgyny, something else came out and I was on that sale. I needed to get this color. I'm so happy for this. This is like my go-to graphic Barbie color. I feel like whatever I say about Jeffree Star is gonna be like really biased in comparison, but I fucking love it. This formula, nobody's touching this formula. Ugh, perfect. So, I would say this is, Photos, uh, dark and mysterious sister. The formula is just so moussey and look at already. Do this up in no game, girl. It makes your teeth look whiter. Um, it goes with a variety of looks. And it's just so pretty. It just sits pretty. I mean, obviously with the darker tone, you will have to worry about butthole lips, but this formula is pretty good where you don't really have to worry about it too much, depending on what you're doing, girl. Um, I love it. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, next we have a Sephora line lip liner. It is called Natural. Ooh, that glare! It is called Natural. Um, I am obsessed with this. I know that there was some time where Sephora stopped their lip liners, and then they did bring them back. But I love the pencil. So you can really define your lips. Um, with the liner, 
It is similar um, to like a Kylie color that everybody's been obsessing about. And even though the point is small, I don't find it hard with the, I think I don't find it hard to fill in my lips. I think the formula really um, adds to that. It is long wear. It does say it is waterproof. It is. Um, if you eat, you may get butthole lips, but that's going to happen with anything. Unless you won't have to touch it up a lot. If you do eat, drink, you'll be all right. Um, so just a very light, natural lip for you. Um, a lighter brown in comparison to the other colors that I've shown you guys so far. It can go with any look if you wanted to do a dramatic eye or a not dramatic eye and even have your lips be the focus. A nice, warm, simple brown like this could really um, add to your look. A bit of Anastasia in there. I don't use it just for my face. Um, I got their holiday collection last time, part of Oprah's favorite. So, you know, whatever she says, go still, honey. This is fudge. So I know a lot of the colors that I've presented to you are a little on the matte side. Ooh. And this is not. We're gonna get you some gloss in your life with this one. I think this one, I think I'll put this one with the Sephora liner. Mm hmm So this gloss is, mm, it's thick, but you're not like thick. You can tell that it's sitting on your lips. It's just giving you that good quality shine, as well as I feel like it's conditioning it. I, or maybe I've done a lot of swatches and I feel like I need, I need some moisture. Um, it does have a nice vanilla smell, um, similar to the MAC product, but um, it's a shiny brown. You want it in your life, nice and light. I would say a medium brown for any look, you know, if you're an office girl, if you're a stripper. This gloss is everything. So just because it's well, you don't need to be like total gothica, matte, like, do what you want, girl. Gloss is still popping. 